The LA Rams saved their season with one of the big upsets of week three. Can they do the same thing here? We're going to find out in a second. But first, I want to talk to you about a great promotion we have this week at Wager Talk. It's 30 days free, um, an extra 30 days on top of our 90 day all access package. It gets you 120 days uh, for less than $7 a day. Takes you all the way you know, through the end of the year. If college basketball is your thing, I'm your guy for that. Close to 50 units of profit over the last two seasons. One of the top marks at the website. Um, and you'll get that, you know, in, in addition to college football, NFL, and the rest of my baseball season on that package. So a free 30 days, 90 day access becomes 120 days of all access for less than $7 a day. Okay, let's get into Rams Bears. Uh, two and one for me on the YouTube videos last week. Hit both of my college plays with Miami of Ohio and Florida State, but lost the NFL one for you guys with the Titans. So we're going to try to get that back here. Uh, and, and I am looking at the Bears in this game. So I, I doubt this is going to end up on my client card at this point, just because the number has moved a little bit uh, at the time of this video. It, it looks like two and a half is is slightly juiced most places. I would probably you know want that to come back a little bit if I was going to add it to my client card, but. If you're playing this game, I think the Bears is, is sort of the only way to go. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm not high on, on either of these teams, or at least I wasn't high on either of these teams in particular coming into the season. I felt like the, the Bears were very you know overrated. Well, I don't want to say overrated, but their prices were inflated uh, based on some of the hype coming off of the 4-0 preseason. Uh, but they've impressed me so far. Um, the, most... I was most impressed with their in their loss to the Texans. Um, I, I thought their defense played excellent in that game, kept them in a game, ended up having the ball uh, with the chance to, to drive down the field and steal a win at the end. Of course, the Bears' defense won the game for them the first week. Uh, they were able to win that game in spite of their offense uh, against the Titans. And even last week, defense kept them in a game in, in the game against the Colts in a, in a game that was another close. Uh, tough loss for the Bears. Uh, but the offense ha has started to come around. I mean, if you've watched the Bears each week, uh, you know, there's been improvement offensively since that week one game where they did virtually nothing against the Titans and, and the defense bailed them out. Um, 395 yards of total offense in last week's game. Uh, so again, they, the, the Bears, even though they've lost back to back games, I do think the offense is starting to improve. And that that will be, you know, ultimately the you know what sort of propels them uh, forward, you know, gets them some wins here in some of these closer games is going to be, you know, better play out of the offense. Now, an issue is the fact that just 63 of those yards in last week's um, performance against the Colts were rushing yards. That's the issue here for the Bears. They they really struggle to run the ball. They don't have a great offensive line. Um, not getting much at all of the run game. And I guess that's my my main sort of, you know, what what made me pump the brakes here early in the week on this one before the line moved. Obviously, I wish I had right now. I had, you know, Bears pick or minus one or whatever it was. But um, the, their Bears ability to run the ball is a little bit concerning. And then, of course, the Rams have a pretty good pass rush. So they might be able to take advantage of this O-line and get some pressure uh, on Caleb Williams here. But. Rams are as, as bad as it gets defending the run in this league. So you, you can look at this a couple of different ways. Um, one, even though the Bears struggle to run, maybe they don't have an issue here against the Rams' poor rush defense. And the other thing is, right now the Rams' secondary is banged up. So, you know, the Bears, if they can game plan appropriately, they can get Caleb Williams in, in sets where he can get rid of the ball and get into that secondary, um, you know, where the Bears should be able to make plays without risking the pass rush getting home and uh, taking sacks, potential turnovers, et cetera. Uh, where I think the Bears could potentially dominate and win this game is the, the defensive side of the ball. Um, the Rams did win last week. They beat a banged up 49ers team, uh, but but they did that. Um, you know, that was a bang, again, they did that with a big run in the second half to steal that win. Uh, they did it by, you know, getting outgained 425 to 296. Um, so, so almost an improbable sort of comeback there from the Rams that I don't necessarily think happens if the 49ers aren't, um, 
you know, in dire straits when it comes to, to injuries uh, like they were last week. Um, but again, this is a Bears defense that I really like. They won that Titans game in spite of their offense. And the, the defense kept them in the game the last two weeks. If the ball, you know, they get a bounce in either of those games, Colts, uh, Texans, two very good teams, solid offenses. Uh, they could have won either of those games. And, and so now I think, I think this is a step down from those two teams. You know, the Rams, Stafford played well, you know, last week, but this is still a banged up offensive line, likely without two starters. Uh, the Bears pass rush could potentially, you know, have a great day here. And if that's the case, uh, I think the Bears are going to be in a, a really good position to to win this game. So it, the other thing I think you have to like uh, in, in terms of playing against the Rams last week, like I said, just a massive win for them kind of save their season. You know, if, if they're, lo- if they lose that game, they're starting 0 three um, just a huge win as an underdog against a division rival in a game that they had to, you know, come back in. it looked like they were about to get run out of the building and they come all the way back to win that game, but outgained 425 to 296 now have to turn around and go on the road against a very solid uh, bears defense. I, I, that, that spot to me is what makes this, the most appealing, um, you know, of, of potentially backing the bears here. Um, I, I didn't necessarily want to lay points with the bears. That's ultimately why I laid off. So, you know, but for argument's sake, for the sake of this video, we'll call it bears minus two and a half. Um, I think if the Rams do take money uh, over the course of the week and bears get down to, you know, back down to like minus one or a manageable money line, uh, I may jump in with the bears for a client play. Uh, but that's the only way I would bet this one. I would lay the two and a half, shot the best number. Maybe if, if you find a favorable money line relative to the market, you could play that. Uh, but I do expect the Bears to find a way to get this win on their home field uh, and and get the job done in this game. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear your opinion on this game. Tell me what you think. Do you, do you like the Bears? Do you like the Rams this weekend? But again, give me a follow. At any media platform, at adamtrigger.wt. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the same handle. And again, like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you these free NFL picks throughout the season. I'll have another NFL video up for Monday Night Football, so check out for that, and we'll see you guys soon. Good luck in week four.